For me, it started as an email from Sandy. We'd kept in touch in recent years, and it was great to see her note saying that the class of 78 was planning a 31-year reunion. This was great news. 2008 had passed by with no word of a reunion, and it was disappointing because I'd had such a great time at the 1998 20-year reunion. I had missed the 10-year reunion, something I quickly regretted after seeing everyone at the 20. All of us grew up to be great people, happy people, all with our own lives and perspectives, and none of the baggage that goes along with being a teenager, like who is smarter, who is a bigger athlete, or the people we don't like for whatever reason. Gone is the teenage angst, the thought that I am special and no one can relate. 20 years of life brings significant maturity, and 30 years brings even more. Make that 31. The class of 78 joined with the class of 79, and it was a remarkable time. According to the email, everyone would be gathering at the Scott High Field on Friday evening in time for the homecoming game. Traffic was heavy because the homecoming parade had just finished. The floats were parked by the field, displaying a higher level of art than most high school students would have conceived 30 years ago. There was a definite feeling of reality. These students take homecoming very seriously. But there on the practice field, just by the entrance to the stadium, was the tailgate. What a collection of faces. Now how long has it been since you've seen most of these people? 31 years and 14 days, I don't know, <laughs> 31 years. So what do you think's changed most about all these people? They're a lot friendlier now. <laughs> no, they, nothing's changed. They all remember the same things and talk about the same classes and remember quite the same things we all remember. Looking at all these people here, what does it make you think when you look about all these people that you haven't seen in such a long time? They're really old. And I'm still young. <laughs> so many faces to see and catching up to do. Plus, posing for a group photo. It wasn't long until it was dark. The team was on the field and the game was underway. So, so do you get to come to these games very often? I don't. I came all the way from Clearwater, Florida to watch this game. and It's exceeding my expectation. And I think they just hit a, what they do, a touchdown there? They did a touchdown with a two-point conversion. It was a great pass play for about 45 yards. Halftime. Of course it's about selecting the homecoming queen and king, riding in luxury around the field. Cheerleaders. The crowd rooting for the Skyhawks. The energy remains 31 years later. Huge crowd, one of the biggest crowds I've seen in Scott. And it was so much fun to have the tailgate party going on for our class. But uh, usually homecoming is pretty crowded, but this one was exceptionally crowded. Transition to another town, another date. Saturday evening at the Logan Country Club. A special occasion for everyone to spend time together, focused specifically upon getting reacquainted, finding out what's been happening over the years. We are having our class reunion. We are at the Logan County Country Club at Chapmanville, West Virginia for our 10th reunion from high school. We are here for our mm -mm, class reunion because I wanted to see all my old friends from high school 30 years later. And this is actually my first one. I'm actually, I'm happy to be here. It's a good experience. I, it's the first one I've been to. I wish I'd come back. I went to rest on, I lived out of the state. I've been here eight years. And uh, I just wish I'd been to all of them. I was always off somewhere uh, in the world serving my country. And I'm just amazed at how friendly it everybody is. 
It's not possible to get so many people together from so many distant locations without a group photo. The tailgate party was fun, but this was a time to separate everyone. One photo for the class of 78 and another for the class of 79. It's fantastic. Everything is very nice. Yeah, just a lot of people. I had to look in the yearbook to see who they was. I love it. I mean, some of these people I haven't seen in so long, and and everybody, everybody's changed. It's been 31 years, and I think we look good for 31 years. Some of us might have been a bit difficult to recognize, but still, it's good to reconnect after so much time apart. It was good to hear the names and see the faces. Uh, Denise Stevens and uh, J.L. Price, I didn't expect to see him. Well, a lot of people, a lot of, some of the kids here I went through grade school with, okay. uh, like uh, Regina Miller and, and uh, uh, Sandra Brown, Laurel Colgrove here tonight, I went to grade school with him. Kippy Jeffrey, I guess, one of my favorite people to see. He's a, he's a really glad he came. J.L., haven't seen him since our 20-year class reunion. I think that was icing on the cake. It's good. That's, he's been singing long as Elvis has. He sounds real good. He's done a good job. In the cold Kentucky rain.